hello and welcome to my channel well in this tutorial I wanted to show you for you guys especially you the beginners to do a very easy and fast uh, scarf you can attach tassels or not it's up to you but uh, with this stitch this stitch has only one row repeat and in order to have the scarf like this you can do with this uh, different colors or you can do just one plain color it's uh, up to you but in order to have these you want to have to chain a long chain you can chain odd number for this one I chain 241 chains and I did this with the 3.0 millimeter crochet hook I work this stitch so when you put the scarf on you, it's like this, it's gonna look like this. So for this one I did one, besides the first row of single crochet, I did one, two, three, four rows with grey color, and then I did two rows with a white, and then, now depends how wide you want the, the scarf, you're gonna do as many as you like, for example in here I did two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, and uh, fourteen. Fourteen rows, and then two more rows of white, and then four more rows of uh, puffs, let's say, and then the last row here, I did a single crochet. Yeah? You can choose whatever colors you want to, to do, so when you put the scarf on you, it's gonna be like this. Yeah? So for this one I chain 200, 241 chains, you can do this as long as you like, the scarf. I will put in the description box, I didn't measure just yet, the um, how long. But I, I did this for my son, so my son has 13 years old, he's 13, so I didn't make it too long for, for him. Yeah. But you can make as long as you like. You just chain maybe more than 241, maybe you will chain 251. Yeah? I think the best one, well, the, the scarf to be long, maybe I will say in centimeters, because I don't know in uh, inches, whatever you guys have in the uh, United States or other parts of the world, but in centimeters I think the the scarf should be 100, 160 centimeters. Yeah? as long. Wide, it's uh, all about uh, you guys, how much you want, how wide you want the, the scarf. This stitch, like I said, has only one row repeat, very easy, goes really fast, and especially if you are to do this stitch with, um, let's say, th thick yarn. This yarn is quite, well, thick. I'm gonna work now for the, with this yarn with 5.0 millimeter crochet hook. I can go, I think, for for this yarn, I can go more 5.5, but I will just go with 5.0. So, like I said, this scarf, this stitch, you chain odd number. So I have here 11 chains. I'm gonna skip the first chain, and into the second chain from the hook, I'm gonna do single crochet. If you are to do a scarf or a blanket, it doesn't matter what, Maybe you should turn this chain and you will see the bumps, these things. And if you work into the bumps, then you're going to have the stitch at the end in case you want to chain, uh, to put uh, tassels or fringes, whatever you want to do. So we're going to skip the first chain and into the second. So I'm going to flip this and the bump is right here. Yeah. So I'm going to start doing single crochet into that. So for example if you want to this crochet hook the, the head is a little bit uh, fat and big chain the the chain a little bit loose yeah to be easy for you to go into this uh, bumps. So we're gonna do single crochet in each chain so the bump you can see it's this one it's just one strain of yarn, yeah, just one. So you go in each, and you're gonna do single crochet. And 
and when you finish that you're gonna have two strings here and gonna have the stitches right there <coughs> it's gonna be very easy to uh, to attach your tassels because you will know exactly how many stitches you're gonna skip and the next stitch you're gonna put the let me say the the fringes you're gonna attach so the last chain is here the last bump there so we're gonna do a single crochet also there so then we're gonna chain one turn your work and now yarn over the hook into the first stitch here we're gonna go in there and we're gonna pull up a loop yarn over the hook move to the next stitch and we're gonna pull up a loop we're gonna have five loops on the hook yarn over and pull the yarn through all five loops into the next stitch slip stitch so you go in there and you're gonna take this this loop and pull through this that it's a slip stitch for those of you that you don't know now yarn over the hook and we're gonna go back into the last stitch that we worked which was the slip stitch we're gonna go back into that stitch pull up a loop yarn over the hook go back uh, go to the next stitch pull up a loop five loops on the hook pull the yarn through all the loops into the next stitch we're gonna do a slip stitch so go in there pull up a loop then take this loop and pull through this so yarn over the hook we're gonna go back to the stitch that we just worked in and you go to the next stitch five loops pull the yarn through all five loops into the next stitch slip stitch so now we're gonna go back into the stitch that we just worked and we're gonna pull up a loop move to the next stitch five loops pull the yarn to all five loops move to the next stitch and you're gonna do a slip stitch yarn over the hook we have one more stitch here at the end so yarn over the hook we're gonna go back into the stitch that we just worked that slip stitch pull up a loop yarn over the hook go into the last stitch of the row and then pull up a loop we have five loops pull the yarn through all five loops chain one and from this moment forward this will be the row that you're gonna repeat on and on and on this row until you finish this uh, whatever you do the project so yarn over the hook we have the first stitch here I'm gonna go in there pull up a loop yarn over the hook move to the next stitch pull up a loop five loops pull the yarn through all five loops and into the next stitch which is above the on top of the slip stitch the, the puff and we're gonna do a slip stitch so now we're gonna go back into the stitch that we worked before pull up a loop move to the next stitch pull up a loop into the next stitch slip stitch and now we're gonna go back into the stitch that we did that slip stitch next stitch you should always have five loops on your hook into the next stitch slip stitch We'll go back into the last stitch that we worked pull up a loop yarn over the hook go to the next stitch pull up a loop pull the yarn through all the loops then into the next stitch the last one here we're gonna do a slip stitch yarn over the hook now we're gonna go back into the stitch here where we did this slip stitch i'm gonna pull up a loop yarn over the hook and we have here at the end this so you're gonna go at the end you see you should have two on your hook yeah, you see you're gonna pull up a loop five loops pull the yarn through all five loops chain one turn your work and you're gonna repeat so I'm gonna do one more row and then this is the row that you're gonna repeat on and on and on so yarn over the hook you go to the first stitch right there pull up a loop move to the next stitch 
5 loops, pull the yarn through all 5 loops, next stitch, slip stitch. So we're gonna go back into the last stitch that we worked, pull up a loop, yarn over the hook, move to the next stitch, 5 loops, and into the next stitch, slip stitch. And this is the row that you're gonna repeat on and on and on. Next stitch, slip stitch. So if I move too fast, you can slow down the speed of the video. So now here at the end, we have the last stitch here. Yeah? We're gonna go in there, into the last stitch, and we're gonna do a slip stitch. Yarn over the hook, we're gonna go back into that last stitch, pull up a loop. Yarn over the hook, and you have here at the end, I'm gonna pull up a loop, I'm gonna chain one, and you're gonna repeat. So it looks like this. So if you are to do to chain just uh, you know let's say odd number but you want to just go up not with a long chain then you're gonna chain like I said odd number but it's not gonna be like this. You know? Let's say this is the, the scarf uh, you're not gonna have the, these lines if you wish to, to do that. If not you you do the way you like. You can chain. You can uh, do with uh, variegated yarn. Change colors. It doesn't matter. You can change your color every two rows, every four rows. Depends how you how you like. But this one it goes really fast, and for winter I think it's nice to work with the. Uh, thick one and these bumps if you are to put to chain a long chain like let's say 241 like uh, I did my uh, my scarf here if you work with the with if you work with a thick yarn you're gonna see these bumps really nice when you put the, the scarf on you like this if you like like this you do it like this maybe you will chain 19 or 21 chains and you could just go back and forth for a long one not so not so long chain yeah yeah it's a it's a very easy uh, stitch for you guys the beginners so like I said if you want you attach tassels if not it's up to you I uh, did this uh, tassels short they're not long maybe they're maybe five six centimeters not more than that because for children they they play they bend they might step on the on the tassels or fringes and then they fall on their faces yeah so this is the the scarf if you like to work with this uh, this stitch give it a try you might uh, enjoy this and like I said for you guys the beginners this goes really fast and if you buy a thick yarn uh, will go really fast I can tell you if you are it doesn't matter you chain a long chain 241 251 or you change just 1921 this is gonna go fast if you work fast you're gonna finish this uh, this scarf maybe in three four hours yeah but I will have to say if you are to attach tassels now depends how long you want the scarf or how wide you want the scarf I think you should have at least 300 grams of uh, yarn yeah just to be safe not to you know run to the store again and buy more yarn just to finish the, the project yeah okay well thank you for watching have a good day